I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your pad sample pack that you just purchased. And thank you, by the way. Um, and so before we jump into actually unpacking the pad sample pack, uh, we're going to get a couple things set up uh, on the logic side of things. Uh, we've got to create a couple of places where we can actually store these files. So you'll notice within logic, if we open up the XS um, sampler, uh, you'll notice when selecting sounds, I have two um, folders that Apple has already added. And then there's three particular sounds that are also included in here. And I'm going to show you where these are located. If we go to the music folder on our uh, computer, so you'll notice in the audio music apps folder, within the music folder, we scroll down a little bit and we've got sampler instruments. This is the folder that the EXS24 is going to pull its patches from, from the front end. So you'll notice here when I select on this, I've got sample sounds and then I have these three existing sample sounds in it. So that's how Logic or MainStage is going to be pulling the instrument information for the EXS24. And so what we want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create, come into this sampler instruments folder and create a new folder. And I will just call this pads bank one. And now we are ready to unzip our sample pack that you purchased. And once this is unpacked, there's going to be a number of um, files inside. So these that are labeled .exs, we want to select all of those. And once we have selected them, we are going to drag these to this newly created folder in my sampler instruments called Pads Bank One. Now here's the great thing: the uh, logic is already already knows where the link goes to to access the actual audio files. So if we come back here to this unzipped folder and open up these individual folders, these are the actual sounds for each one of the patches. Apple already knows where these are stored, so it doesn't matter where you put these. So you could put them on an external hard drive, for now, I'm just going to place them in a folder in my music folder called samples. So if I drag all of these and put them in here, Logic knows where to find those samples automatically. So you just have to figure out how you want your folder layout to be and where you want to place the actual media files. But now if I go back to the EXS24 and I refresh this menu, now you're going to see my Pads Bank 1 popped up. And if I come over here, I can actually select one of the sounds and you're ready to go. Once you have, uh, like I said, once you've put the files in the correct spots, it should all link up properly and you're ready to go. You can just sit here and choose the sound that you want and it already knows how to link and where to link to the actual audio files. Uh, and so if we were to pull up a, uh, the music typing, you will see here, the sounds are here. It's all ready to go for you to jump in and have fun with these pads. If you got any questions, go on over to my website and hit me up on my contact page and we'll get you squared away.